What's going on guys, Patrick here with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to pocket shrink. Now uh, I'm working, in this video, I'm working on a 2007 Porsche Carrera and I'm working on the side windows right now. Uh, I like to pocket shrink side windows uh, just because it seems like it's a little bit easier than trying to shrink from the very top. Um, and you can use this for like Corvettes, for Tesla Model Ys, for actually Tesla Model 3s as well. They're pretty aggressive. So doors that have some serious aggressive curves to them, um, you can use this instead of kind of shrinking from the top. You basically shrink from the bottom and bring the heat up from there. And um, it's done wonders to me. It makes my shrinks a lot faster. It makes the shrinks a lot cleaner. And, of, and you can prevent um, creases doing it this way, in my opinion here. So let me go ahead and change it up here. I'm gonna be up here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I clean the window. Before I lay it down, obviously I'm going to go ahead and spray it down and I'm going to go ahead and squeegee off the glass just to make sure um, I've already cut the film, but I just want to make sure that there's no you know, debris or dust, dirt, anything on there that could, uh, that could ruin my film because I, I'm putting the film side on the glass. So. So most important thing as I lay it, I try to lay it from the top and squeegee across the top first so that the top is fully flat. And then I just bring the sides down. That's really it. Nothing too crazy, but what you're gonna do with that horseshoe, it, what you're gonna see squeegee the top and bring it down, you're gonna bring all the fingers to the very bottom. And I've already done it on this side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the heat gun. bring the volume down just a little bit just so I don't uh, I don't get annoyed with the with the sound from the heat gun trying to clean up a little bit especially while the heat guns warming up so I like to put it on high Oh, it looks like I didn't squeegee this one yet. I like to keep my heat gun on high, so I'll just warm it up a little bit. I usually don't take this long to warm it up, but it is what it is. What can you do? And I'll lift up the film like I am off the glass so that I know I can keep it. I can keep the top edge flat. And then that way there's no fingers up there and I'm putting all the fingers on the bottom edge. And I'm going to start from the very bottom until I can see the film lift up just like that. And you're going to seal the bottom. The film is going to go against the glass and then you can kind of just bring the heat up with it. I should pocket shrink all of these. Start from the bottom, let the film seal and come up with it. Just like that. Nice and easy. Don't be too much. Uh, don't get too concentrated on the very bottom with the heat because you don't want to you don't want to burn the bottom of the edge because then you're going to have to trim that. But as you can see, it's not that difficult, not that hard, um, and it doesn't take that long. And these are pretty sizable fingers. So let's see again. We're going to do this door. Hopefully you can get a little bit of a better angle here. Bottom edge back and forth. Wait to get the air in underneath and then just bring it up with it seal the bottom you see how it's getting tight and then I'm just gonna bring the heat up with it most important thing is to make sure to keep the heat moving back and forth here and uh, don't keep it centered and, and concentrated here because you could burn the film and or burn um, the car itself. And if you need to, you can kind of flip up the bottom, the, the bottom two inches and do a double shrink. Um, but I've learned that when I do the pocket shrink, it, it shrinks it enough. It almost probably almost over shrinks it. Um, but that's it. That's how, uh, that's how I do my pocket shrinking for any really aggressive windows. Again, Corvettes or anything else like that. So hopefully this is helpful for you. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, and, uh, I will see y'all next time. Thank you.